150 graves at a Roswell cemetery need repairs. The ground around many of them has sunk in because of the torrential rain from this weekend. KOAT Action 7 News reporter Mike Springer was the only reporter in Roswell covering the storms. He shows us the damage and when it may get fixed. Greg Romero is spending his holiday weekend checking up on his nephew. He's right over here, Elijah Romero. He's buried here at the Cell Park Cemetery in Roswell. Heavy rains are causing trouble at the city run cemetery. Flags lay in water, headstones are damaged, and families are finding the ground around the graves of some of their loved ones are sinking in. It's not too bad, it's just kind of sunken in. There's a little damage by the, by the gravestone. The cemetery says the retention pond it built to stop flooding like this is overflowing with water from the record breaking rainfall Roswell got Friday. There's quite a bit of damage. I didn't think it was this bad. Some graves are holding up better than others. Ramona McDaniels buried her aunt here a week ago. So her grave is sunken in right now? Yeah, it's a big old hole and a couple down from her. One of the relatives is like almost two feet deep. McDaniels says there's not much she can do other than wait for things to dry out. The cemetery says it could take months before everything is back to normal. It's working on getting more dirt and fixing what's been damaged. Reporting in Roswell, Mike Spur, KOAT Action 7 News. The cemetery says it will foot the cost of making the repairs. It doesn't know how much those may cost.